every kindergartner in the English-speaking world learns that there are 26 letters in the alphabet. It wasn't always that way, though. Over the years, there have been several letters that have passed into and out of English. And we should bring one back. Thorin's story goes back to the Old Norse rune of the same name, one of 24 characters in the Old Elder Futhark, which was essentially their alphabet. The letter was adopted and used throughout Old, Middle, and Early Modern English to represent the digraph TH, but it's fallen on hard times since then. Why, you ask? The printing press improved literacy rates across Europe, but it came to be Thorne's downfall. The more Latinized French printing press didn't have Thorne, and many early German ones didn't either. Even when it was printed, Thorne looked a bit too much like a Y in the Gothic-style script. This is actually why you see things called ye old. The Y-E was never supposed to be pronounced like ye, but plain old the. Today, Thorne only exists in one extant language, Icelandic. It's actually quite commonly used in Iceland, who recently dropped their Z, but hold on to their Thorne like it's stuck to them. Now, why should we bring back Thorne? Mostly because it's cool and I like it, but allow me to expound on why this letter deserves its place in the English pantheon. First, it would save a good deal of space. Sure, that might not matter to you individually, but if the sum of all English text is taken into consideration, the implementation of Thorn would save quite a few pages of paper. That's just good for the environment. Thorn won't replace all TH combinations, though. Notice I just said most, which is one of its other benefits. Instead, it merely replaces any TH that is pronounced th. Those that are not, like in Lighthouse or Thomas, shall retain their original spelling, which will only clarify what their proper pronunciation should be. A bit of a caveat, originally another letter, F, stood in for some TH sounds as well. However, the goal here is to simplify the language, not further complicate it, so I think the uglier looking kind of looks strange, I think the uglier F should say consigned to the dustbin of history. It wouldn't be that hard to implement Thorn either. Remember Icelandic. Because of Thorn's placement in the language, Thorn is part of Unicode already. It's easily accessible. In fact, if you want to start using Thorn right now, you can get an Icelandic keyboard on your phone or computer. Think the letter can't support itself in the dictionary? Roughly 2,600 words start with Thorn, or would in my edited English. How many words start with X, for instance? Around 200. If X deserves to be a letter and be used uh, that seldom, then Thorn certainly deserves placement. And Thorn would see a lot of other uses in the middle of words, too. Language constantly changes over time as new uses become more popular. If people start using Thorn again, it will be reborn, and in the future once again be recognized as a modern English letter.